What's up YouTube, this is Daniel and it's been a big weekend both for me and for Stepan. Watch all the way to the end only if you're a subscriber. So let's jump right in. I'd like to say a great big thank you to all you subscribers who have helped me achieve my next milestone of getting 1000 subscribers. I know I don't speak the best and oftentimes I pause at weird intervals and that's the reason why there are so many jump cuts. I'm slowly improving the way I speak in front of the camera but I really like to thank each one of you who keep coming back to watch my content and to watch my video even though my videos aren't that great. I do hope to continue to bring value to each one of you who watches my video whether it's is it on step n whether is it on crypto or even just on life things have been moving pretty fast on youtube i posted my first video on my youtube channel on the 4th of february 2022 and on the first day i received four subscribers and these were my friends and family and i really like to thank my family and my friends for supporting me at the very beginning even though my videos weren't getting much traction but they continue to watch and like my videos even though sometimes they didn't really know what the videos were about it was not until the end of march and the start of april where things started to pick up it was largely due to the videos on step n that started getting more views at the end of march around the 27th of march i had only 21 subscribers but this number quickly grew to 500 on 19 april little did i know that eight more days later i will have hit my 1000 subscriber mark this would definitely have not been possible without each one of you subscribers subscribing and liking my videos thank you so much again not only was the weekend great for me but it was a big weekend for stepan as well and over the weekend so many things have changed you have new token listings you have gst being listed on coinbase you have gmt being listed on other major exchanges like Coinbase and Gemini. You had a Solana network outage which affected users on the app because they weren't able to transfer NFTs and do token swaps. The outage on the Solana network caused delayed token transactions and that affected people playing the game and contributed to their frustration. I do think that over the weekend, the step end developers had three main objectives. They wanted to decrease the floor price of the sneakers. Secondly, they wanted to decrease decrease the price of GST and thirdly they wanted to increase the price of GMT. They did so by introducing a double main event and in this double main event they actually tripled the drop rate of the double mint. This actually increased the incentive for many people to swap for tokens and try their hand out at shoe minting because they had a chance to get doubles. The first clear effect of that was that there will be an increase in the supply of sneakers because the number of sneakers being minted increased significantly and that actually drove the price of sneakers down. But at the same time, depending which token was used for minting, it actually increased or decreased the prices respectively. And on this front, the developers tried many iterations to find out how the market would react if they tweak the ratios of shoe minting. Originally, if you wanted to mint the shoe, you only needed to have GST. However, right before the event, they actually rolled out a GMT use case which actually changed the minting to include the usage of GMT as well. Originally, the usage of GMT was about 40% of the original cost. So for example, if the original shoe main cost was 200 GST, in the first revision, you will need to use 80 GMT and 120 GST. And that will be in a ratio of 40% GMT and 60% GST. This ratio was later on flipped to 60% GMT and 40% GST. And I do think that because the developers weren't able to achieve their goals, which is to lower the price of GST and increase the price of GMT, they actually decided to do something really drastic, which is to make shoe minting only use GMT or 100% in GMT. And this actually caused the price of GST to crash and caused a temporary spike in GMT prices. However, the community was not too happy with that because there were a lot of people holding on to their GST wanting to find a good time to cash out. And so they were very affected by this sudden announcement causing the sudden drop in GST price. Upon feedback and AMAs, the step end developers decided to change the minting cost back to 50% for both GMT and GST. And for example, if originally you needed 200 GST, now you will need 100 GMT and 100 GST. 
personally, I was negatively impacted by these changes because right when they announced that minting required 100% GMT, I actually traded my GST and some of my Solana into GMT. But upon doing so, I realized that my shoe was not at level 5 and so I needed to spend some time to get my shoes to level 5. But once my shoe was at level 5, they actually announced the switch back to 50% GMT and 50% GST. And at that time, GST price was a lot higher than GMT. And I was not able to swap my GMT back to GST and perform the shoe minting event. Like many of you, I felt frustrated and like I was at the mercy of the developers and I was angry and unhappy because these people were so reckless to make this announcement so abruptly and so suddenly. But because I really wanted a chance to get the double mint, I was forced to swap my GMT back to GST at a loss to have a chance to participate in this increased drop rate shoe minting event. And luckily for me, I managed to get the double shoe box and that actually covered a little of my loss that I had to take previously. I do know that there are some of you out there who took a loss and you didn't manage to get a double shoe box drop. So I do understand how you guys feel out there. But in my frustration and unhappiness, I did take a step back to take some time to do some analysis on the different tokens, GMT, GST, and even on the sneaker prices to think about what was the thought process of the developers in making such a decision. I do think that the best way that the community can benefit from Step N is that Step N will continue to be a healthy ecosystem for the long term in the crypto gaming sphere. And to do so, I do think that some of these steps are what the developers think is crucial to have in a healthy ecosystem. And, and so perhaps in this case, I do think that the developers wanted to reduce the floor price of sneakers so that Step N will have a lower barrier of entry so that new users will be able to come into the ecosystem more easily because the prices that they have to pay for their first sneaker is a lot lower. I do think that they take the perspective of how the price of GST shouldn't be too high because Based on my analysis, I do think that if the price of GST is very high, users may not have the incentive to use the GMT for in-game functions, but rather they will be taking the GST out of the system to exchange and cash out their profits, whether is it on a centralized or decentralized exchange. Yes, it's good in the short term for us to earn and cash out our initial investment. However, I do think that a very high GST price might be detrimental to the step and ecosystem in the long term. Lastly, I do think that creating more and more use cases for GMT is good in the long term because GMT is actually a fixed supply token and that as the supply decreases, the prices actually will increase for the token. I do think that it is more preferred for GMT price to be higher as compared for GST price to be higher because GST is actually a inflationary token where there is no fixed supply. It will just keep be minting as long as people play the game and they'll be able to earn more tokens. As such, it is more difficult to guarantee the long-term price appreciation for GST. Do note that these are just my thoughts. None of this is financial advice. Please do your own research before you invest in anything and investing in crypto can be quite risky. I've been thinking of making a video to review the tokenomics in Step N. Do leave a comment down below if you're interested to watch it. And if enough of you are interested to watch it, perhaps I'll actually make that video soon. That's all for this video. Stay safe and see you next time.